Hello everyone, this is Neeraj from EC department. I am going to discuss about polygonal approximations using minimum perimeter polygons. Coming to polygonal approximation, a digital boundary can be approximated with arbitrary accuracy by a polygon. The main goal of this approximation is to approximate the boundary shape with the minimum possible polygonal segments. There are various approximation techniques but the techniques with modest complexity are well suited for image processing tasks. One of those techniques is minimum perimeter polygon technique. Let us see about this minimum perimeter polygon technique. Here we can observe a object boundary. In minimum perimeter polygon technique, the object boundary should be concatenated by the cells as shown in the figure. Assume the boundary of the object as a rubber band. As the rubber band shrinks, it is constrained by the inner and outer walls of the bounding region. Ultimately, this shrinking produces the shape of a polygon of minimum perimeter. As you can see in the figure, the vertices of the minimum perimeter polygon coincides with the inner or outer of the walls. Here, the size of the cell determines the accuracy of the polygonal approximation. For example, if the size of each cell corresponds to a pixel in the boundary, the error in each cell between the boundary and the minimum perimeter polygon approximation at most would be root 2 d where d is the minimum possible distance between pixel we can reduce this error by half by forcing each cell in the polygonal approximation to be centered on its corresponding pixel in the original boundary the main objective of this would be using least number of vertices so that we can get the minimum perimeter polygon now all the procedure shown in the previous slides is to get a gray wall area as shown in the figure here in the figure we can observe two types of vertices one is black and is one is white the white vertices are called as convex vertices whereas the black ones are called as concave vertices. Every concave vertex in the dark gray region has a corresponding mirror vertex in the light gray region which is diagonally located. It is mirrored so that we can get a minimum perimeter polygon as shown in the figure C. Here from the figure, we observe that vertices of the most minimum perimeter polygon coincide either with convex or concave vertices. All the procedure shown in the before slides is to obtain a gray wall area as shown in the figures. We can observe two types of vertices in the figure. One is black vertex and other is white. Here the white vertex represent a convex vertex and the black one represent a concave vertex. Here every convex concave vertex in the dark gray region has a corresponding mirror vertex in the light gray wall located diagonally opposite so that we can get a minimum perimeter polygon. Here, the MPP coincide with either convex or concave vertices. Now, we will develop a minimum perimeter polygon algorithm to obtain the vertices. Here, the set of cells enclosing a digital boundary is called a cellular complex. We assume that the boundaries under consideration are not self-intersecting, which leads to simply connected cellular complexes.
let us denote convex vertices with w and concave vertices with b let us see some main steps involved in the mpp algorithm the mpp bounded by a simply connected cellular complex in not self intersecting now every convex vertex of the minimum perimeter polygon is a w vertex but not every w vertex of a boundary is a vertex of the mpp every mirror concave vertex of the mpp is a b vertex but not every b vertex of a boundary is a vertex of the mpp all the b vertices are on or outside the mpp and all w vertices are on or inside the mpp the uppermost or the leftmost vertex in the sequence of vertices contained in a cellular complex is always a w vertex of the mpp we will formulate some mathematical equations to understand this algorithm consider the triplet of points a b and c arrange these points in the matrix as shown now the determinant of a is here if it is greater than 0 the points a b c is a counter clockwise sequence if it is less than 0 a b c is a clockwise sequence if they are collinear it is equal to now the sign up of points a b c is equal to determinant of matrix a if the sign up of points a b c is greater than 0 it indicates that the sequence is in counter clockwise direction and geometrically point c is on the positive side of pair a comma b similarly if sign up of points a b c is less than 0 it indicates that the sequence is clockwise and geometrically point c is on the negative side of pair a comma b now sign up of a b c is equal to 0 then it indicates that the points are collinear here in mpp algorithm v not denote the first and uppermost leftmost vertex here we need two crawler points they are white crawler wc and black crawler bc wc crawls along the convex w vertices and bc crawls along the concave b vertices let v l denote the last minimum perimeter polygon vertex form and we can denote the current vertex being examined the mbp algorithm starts with wc is equal to bc is equal to v not now with all these points there there can exist three conditions they are if the point vk lies to the positive side of the line through pair vl comma wc that is signum of vl comma wc comma vk can be greater than 0 or coming to point p if vk lies on the negative side of the line through pair vl comma wc or is collinear with it that is signum of vl comma wc comma vk less than or equal to 0 at the same time vk lies to the positive side of the line through vl comma bc or is collinear with it that is signum of vl comma bc comma vk greater than or equal to 0 now point c vk lies on the negative side of the line through pair vl comma bc that is signum of vl comma bc comma vk is less than 0 now after the conditions are checked if condition a holds the next minimum perimeter polygon vertex is wc and we let vl equal to wc and then we reinitialize the algorithm by setting wc is equal to bc is equal to vl and continue with the next vertex after vl 
if the condition b holds we can become a candidate mpp vertex in this case we said wc is equal to vk if vk is convex that is it is a w vertex otherwise we said bc is equal to vk we then continue with the next vertex in the list if condition c holds the next mpp vertex is bc and we let v1 is equal to bc then we reinitialize the algorithm by setting wc is equal to bc is equal to vl and continue with the next vertex after vl the algorithm terminates when it reaches the first vertex again and thus as process all the vertices in the poly the v1 vertices formed by the algorithm are the vertices of the mpp now there are other approximation techniques such as splitting techniques and merging techniques let us see about splitting techniques it is the approach to split to subdivide a segment successfully into two parts until a specified criterion is satisfied for instance a requirement might be the maximum perpendicular distance from a boundary segment to the line joining its two endpoints not exceed a preset threshold if it does the point having the greatest distance from the line becomes a vertex this subdividing the initial segment into two sub segments this approach has the advantage of seeking prominent inflection points for a closer boundary the best starting points usually are two farthest points in the boundary coming to another technique it is merging technique merging technique is based on average error or other criteria have been applied to the problem of polygonal approximation one approach is to merge points along a boundary until the least square error line fit of the points merged so far exceeds a preset threshold when this condition occurs the parameters of the line are stored the error is set to zero and the procedure is repeated merging new points along the boundary until the error again exceeds the threshold at the end of the procedure the intersections of adjacent line segments form a form the vertices of the problem one of the major difficulties faced with this merging technique is that vertices in the resulting approximation do not always correspond to inflections such as corners in the original bond because a new line is not started until the error threshold is exceeded with this we completed polygonal approximation techniques thank you